Perhaps you were among the crowds that stormed the Capitol on that fateful day in 1917. Some shouting for war, some crying for peace. Inside the White House, President Woodrow Wilson conferred with advisors, then signed the proclamation of war against Germany. Headlines told the story to the people of America, for well, the parlor radio was still years in the future. World. War. One. We must go. We must fight. What war? <laughs> because they're coming for us. Who is coming? The Germans, of course. The Germans are seeking our land. They're ready to take our lives and they want our land too. And they want your life too. Lucy's Hainer was bound by German U-boats, taking over a hundred American lives. Our allied forces need us. Russia stepped down from the job and that means our turn to step up. Joining the war will also help us economically because we give major loans to our allied partners and since Russia left, we need someone to step up and help fight. Also, by cracking the Zimmerman note, we know that Germany was trying to form a secret alliance with Mexico and fight against us. We are done with Germany now and it's time for us to go to war. So lace up your boots. Suit up. Grab your mask. Johnny, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. Take it on the run, on the run, on Let's the run. Let's go to war! Hear them calling you and me. Every son of liberty. Hurry right away, no delay, go today. Make your daddy you. glad to have had such a lad. Tell your sweetheart not to pine to be proud her boy. In line over there. We must go. We must go. <laughs> what was I supposed to say? There you go. Why? Oh, wait. I thought you were gonna turn around. Lucentino was a horse. Russian. Grab your bag.